Hi friends, let's read Tiny Plants, Big Plants. This was written by Holly Melton and illustrated by Janet Skiles. Do you think this is going to be a fiction story or a nonfiction informational book? It's about plants. Are plants real? They are real. What is this on the front? This is a tree. These are leaves and this is an acorn. Do you think these leaves and this acorn came from this tree? Let's find out. I will read and you repeat. Right there it says acorn. That is called a label. This is just a tiny acorn. It will not be an acorn for long. What do you think it will grow into? Your turn. This is just a tiny acorn. It will not be an acorn for long. What do you think it will grow into? What do you think? The acorn will grow into a tree. It will stand silent and strong. It will be home to birds and spiders. The acorn will grow into a tree. It will stand silent and strong. It will be home to birds and spiders. Here's another label, iris bulbs. So she is planting them. These bulbs will be planted deep in the dirt. You won't even be able to see them. They'll be hidden in the earth. Your turn. These bulbs will be planted deep in the dirt. You won't even be able to see them. They'll be hidden in the earth. Rain and sun help the bulbs grow. Tiny shoots will pop up. In the spring, you will have an iris. So that's the flower there. Rain and sun help the bulbs grow. Tiny shoots will pop up. In the spring, you will have an iris. Here's another label, cactus. Some plants are able to grow in sand. This cactus does not need much rain. Even a little rain will do. Some plants are able to grow in sand. This cactus does not need much rain. Even a little rain will do. Do we have cactus growing here? We have iris growing here, but not cactus. This is water. It's hard to tell, but that's water. Plants like to grow in dirt. Even these plants grow in earth. The earth is at the bottom of the pond. So these right here are called lily pads, and then they have flowers on them. Plants like to grow in dirt. Even these plants grow in earth. The earth is at the bottom of the pond. Here's another label, Venus flytrap. So this is a flower that a fly goes into and the plant eats the fly. Plants get food from the earth. This plant traps its own food. It gets food from bugs. Plants get food from the earth. This plant traps its own food. It gets food from bugs. Another label, bamboo. So that's this plant and what this 
bear is eating. Do you know what kind of bear this is? This is a panda bear. In China, bamboo plants grow high. This baby's mother has bamboo for dinner. In China, bamboo plants grow high. This baby's mother has bamboo for dinner. That was Tiny Plants, Big Plants. So was it nonfiction, telling information, or was it telling us a story, a fiction book? It was nonfiction. It told us information. So let's look back through the book. Let's look on page two. What did it say an acorn grows to be? It grows to be a tree, and it grows to be an oak tree. What did the bulbs grow to be? It grows into be a flower, an iris flower. Do all plants need a lot of rain? Not all plants. This was the kind that didn't need a lot of rain. A cactus. What else do plants need besides water? They need dirt. Even these plants grow in dirt at the bottom of the pond. What does this plant eat? Bugs. How are plants the same? They need water and they need dirt. And how are they different? All of these plants, they all look different, right? 